This is the Deuter Quantum 70 plus 10 convertible travel pack. Really great capacity in this pack for long trips. It's got a detachable front pocket that can be used as its own day pack. There's an integrated rain cover and transport cover. Just a lot of features in here that make this really ideal for travel. You can see that the Quantum is equipped with a nicely padded uh, suspension system, padding in the lumbar, padding up through the back, also on the shoulder straps, and a really nice padded hip belt as well. There is a laddered system here on the back, the very quick harness, just a simple Velcro attachment that allows you to set this at whatever height you need it to be at um, to best fit your torso length. There's load lifter adjuster straps here and straps throughout the hip belt and lower on the straps as well to help you really dial in that fit. Deuter also builds a smaller version of this pack, the Quantum 55 Plus 10 SL. That's a women's specific pack. And what really differentiates it, other than being a bit smaller in size, is the placement of the harness system and also the hip belt. There's some different contouring there, some narrower dimensions that make it a more ideal fit um, for, for, for most female users. Turning the pack around, you can see it looks like a traditional top loader with this large lid, also a large front pocket. This is a removable front pocket. And I'm gonna go ahead and actually get that out of the way for the moment so we can look at the main pack body. There's a lower zippered sleeping bag compartment. Again, similar to a, a traditional backpack, but more similar to luggage. Um, there's also a very large zippered peel back front panel access that gets you down into the main portion of the bag when laid flat. Again, more similar to a suitcase. So looking at that removed front pocket, Really nice functionality in this piece. It cleaned up the profile of the main pack bag, which in certain instances might be helpful. In all likelihood, you're probably checking this bag at the airport, perhaps even uh, if you're traveling by rail. It's also a piece that's a little big for day in, day out use if you're using this for hosteling purposes. So you may leave this behind, but it's nice to have a smaller day pack, and that's what you've got here. Turning this around, you can see it's got its own integrated shoulder straps, some padding here on the back panel as well, pocketing on the front, also interior, interior pocketing as well, um, some storage inside, which makes this great for, again, day usage. There is also some expandability on this. There's a zipper that runs the entire way around the pack. That when opened up, actually allows it to expand a bit gives this a little more room, a little bit more capacity. But in cinching it down, keeps this nice and compact, keeps this pack nice and compact when you don't need all of the space that it provides. A standout feature in the Quantum Series packs is tucked away at the very bottom of the pack bag itself. See a little stitching here that indicates the fact that the transport cover is tucked in underneath. It's got its own dedicated zippered pocket from which I've pulled out the integrated rain cover slash transport cover. We'll go ahead and put that over the Quantum Pack now. So I'm closing the transport cover. If this is left open and peeled down, it serves as a rain cover, you can still put the pack on. Uh, the shoulder straps can peek through, but when you are checking this or loading it somewhere, you'll want to close that entirely and stitch it down tight and securely. You can see there's an integrated, <clears throat> excuse me, identification piece here that, again, you can put your contact information on that. There's also integrated hall handles here that, again, make this a really, really functional option uh, for travel.